And welcome back to a special edition of Out and About Today, music and the LGBTQ community. As we continue to celebrate our 16th season, 16, our next guest is one of Music City's treasures. And she's one of our all-time favorite guests, singer-songwriter Steph Mahan. Now, when Steph sings, you feel it in the deepest part of your soul. Take a listen. Life went on and I was left behind. Steph Mahan in action, I tell you what. We are so glad to welcome Steph onto the show. Steph, how are you? I am good, ready for this stuff to be over. No so I can hug people. I tell you, so we were just though kind of looking back 16 years, you have been on, you're one of our favorite guests, you've been on so many times, we love it every time that you're here, you're a good friend. So how have you been surviving during all of this craziness that, that we've been going through? You know, I've been, um, I've not, I've kind of enjoyed it because I'm not so weirded out about trying to find the next gig or everyone's in the same bucket. So I'm not so nervous about, well, why are they doing that? And I'm not doing that. You know, it's a singer songwriter thing, but I've, um, my partner and I, we're actually getting along very well. And we've watched, I've watched the entire five movies of Twilight. Go figure. There you go. It's a great time to catch on, catch up on some of those. You know, we've done the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So I've been working on my art too. My, you know, my my physical art. You know, my paintings and stuff. So it's good. It is. So kind of tell me though, as as an artist. So during a time like this, do you find that it helps the creative juice flow? Do you find that it makes it a little more challenging? So kind of how does that all work right now? Um, you know, I I was thinking about that the other day because I really have to live life to write. I, I, I don't just pull some idea out of the head, out of the air, like some writers can. I wish I could, but I really have to live it. And since I've been sitting around, you, no one wants to hear a song about somebody sitting watching Twilight. So, um, you know, I've been, I've written a couple of new songs and they're really good songs and I've had time to really hone in. But other than that, I'm just doing other creative things. So, and I'm practicing every day, you know, playing. But. Well, that's great. Great way to approach it. So kind of let me tell you or ask you, as we've been uh, these last two shows, we've been talking about music in the LGBTQ community specifically. Um, so you've been in this business for, for a long time. So what are some of the challenges that, that you faced as, as you've kind of come up through the ranks? Uh, oh, God. When I first came here in the 90s, you know, I had a, a deal, a record deal, and I was going to be the next big thing. And I, I'm not bitter about this anymore. I was, but when I got offered and I felt bad that these people were going to be working with me and I was with the same person for a long time. And so I flat out just said, Hey, listen, I don't want to be a, you know, poster child for this, but I want you to know I'm, I'm, I'm a lesbian. And if you guys, you know, you know, I just want you to know, and my contract got torn up. So, you know, I kind of look back now and say, I wish I'm not sad I did that because I'm going to be able to live with myself when I'm 80, um, which is in a couple of years. But, um, you know, I just um, I'm glad I did it, but it's it was scary and it probably ruined my career. But I've made money of other places. So, you know, it's out. It's it. It's, it is what it is. So. Well, you know, and then looking at, at the music business, um, you know, we were talking with, with Harper Gray earlier, and, you know, and she's a young country music performer, and she's able to, you know, she's, she's out. Um, she, she may not be number one on the charts right now, but do you see, like, the, the times changing enough where you can have an out lesbian top the, the country radio charts, or are we still years away from that? I hope so, because when I decided to come out to the label, that's why I did it. So it'd be easier for the next person, the next person. 
And it's been, you know, 25 years almost, or 20 years, and it's going to get better. I hope it's not another 20 years because there's so many talented people. And, oh, yeah, they're gay, but whoop-dee-doop-dee, you know? Who cares? They still got good music. And I don't think anyone should not be on the radio because they're gay. You know? So well, that's my opinion, but... And I tell you, Steph, even with your music, though, um, you know, like I, I've told you many times, I mean, I can put it on and no matter how many times it is, is so soul stirring. Um, you write heartbreak better than just about anybody that I know. Um, but Thanks. but your music, it just it, it has that thing that every time you listen to it, it gets you again. So do you feel that when, when you're writing, it's like that, that, oh, wow, I'm going to a deep place again? Yeah, I actually, when that song that you played on the opening, um, I remember writing that. And I do, I get teary-eyed when I write some songs because they are true. And then somebody comes up and they say, oh my gosh, did you read my journal? Or, you know, because when you have a broken heart, you think you're the only one that's ever felt like this. And come to find out you're not. And every broken heart hurts. I don't care if it's been a three-month relationship or a 30-year relationship. A broken heart hurts. And when you can hear somebody put that into words for you and somebody on me put the words and then somebody come up and say, I understand. That's what makes music music. I, you know, it's just what makes it go around. It does. Uh, and you know, I'm just, I'm one of your very biggest fans. I just, I, I love your music. So um, tell me about 30 seconds. What, what do you have coming up? So I know you've done some of the, the driving concerts. We're in a different world now, these virtual concerts. What, what's coming up for you, Steph? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a virtual concert and some more virtual concerts coming up and stuff. And those are weird because I like an audience, but those are going to be coming up. And I think in the fall, I'm going to try to get a drive-in thing going at a farm. So that would be fun, and we'll see if that happens. But I'll be on the internet, and I'll be on Facebook and tell everyone. So, awesome! That is great. So, want to remind everybody: your current CD is enough. And I tell you what, it's not enough just to hear one or two songs. You've got to hear the entire CD. So make sure you check it out right there anywhere you can find streaming music. That is Steph Mahan's latest. It is called Enough. Steph Mahan, you know I love you like my luggage. I love you more than my. I don't know why. My plastic bag. I don't have luggage. <laughs> Write a song about that and then sing it next time you're here. I will. Okay. As always, okay. I love you. Thank you Great for seeing me. you. All right. Like I said, one of our favorite guests. Thanks for helping us celebrate 16 Thank years you. on Out and About today. Thank all you. Right. Happy yeah. birthday, you guys. I love y'all. Love Bye. you, Steph. Thank you. That's all the time we have for this edition. We appreciate it as always. Stick around. There's more Out and About today next week.